YTPC. Good evening, Ghost Cop here on the side porch for a mixture video. We're going to do a Sunday chat. We're going to do Sunday night shout outs. And we're going to have a little gall update. First, housekeeping. Having me a pop. Using the Ghost Cobb Uncle Butter collaboration tamper. And I'm smoking this beautiful olive wood ants made for me by the one, the only Olive Wood Piper. If you have not subbed his channel, you are missing out. Great fella. He made the whole pipe for me, stem and all. It's beautiful. I love it. Just look at all that beautiful grain on that. On that. I love these olive wood pipes. I am definitely an olive wood pipe fan. In it, Stonehaven. So, this here story is about a uh, fellow who lived on the farm back home. I love this story because this is just going to show you that family is more than blood. Family is what you make it. Um, you know, uh, we had a fellow who lived on the farm there. His name was George. Mom was nicknamed him Muskrat. Um, old Muskrat lived on the farm his whole life pretty much with us, so he did. Um, but George's parents were taken in an automobile accident when he was at a very young age. A uh, neighbor, I guess, took him in and word got out into the couple houses that um, this young boy was being mistreated. He was being neglected. He was being worked very hard and he was being beaten. And my grandmother and my grandfather wouldn't have it. So my grandmother <laughs> went down there, knocked on the door, and told him, we know what you're doing. It's not going to happen. You need to bring that boy up right here right now. We're taking him with us, and he's going to be with us. They brought George up. My grandmother and grandfather took him, brought him down to the farmhouse, cleaned him up, got him clothes, he was ours. As far as we were concerned, he was family. He got a, he was given a bed in the house, he was, you know, taken care of. Um, very hard worker. He worked very hard for us on the farm. He did a lot of stuff for us, uh, helping us through some, some times. After my grandmother and grandfather passed away, my uncle kept the farm, my Uncle Dave, and um, he uh, had went ahead and uh, told George he would always have a place to stay. And he was there until the day he died. George was there. Um, he was a simple man. He was a very quiet to himself kind of guy. Uh,
He would do whatever you needed to do on the farm, you know. He looked after it. He would walk the farm at night to make sure everything was locked up. The animals were safe. All that good stuff. Hunted to help provide food for the house. If he did side jobs, he would always give a portion of the money to my my grandma and my pap to help with bills. He was a great guy. He really was. Didn't do well with kids. Cousins and I were afraid of him. But, uh, <laughs> he would always sneak me money. Because we'd, we'd go home, you know, and we'd always go home for the one fair, the big fair. And he would always sneak me money. He'd always pull me aside and say, Sean, you make sure you take this money and you buy something you're not supposed to have. <laughs> Well, I didn't want to disappoint him, so I made sure I did it. I always got cotton candy or funnel cakes or something, you know. And uh, I, I loved the guy. The guy was good to me, you know. But he always used to sit on the side porch. We had a big wraparound porch there. And he would sit there on the recliner, the glider, and he would listen to the pirates. And um, I would sit on against the, my back against the wall on the, around the corner there so he couldn't see me. And I'd listen to the pirates with him, you know. And uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes when my pap was watching a game inside, he'd come in, sit and watch an inning or two. But a lot of times he just liked to be by himself. And he would... Um, you know, he would sit there and uh, just listen to the game on the radio. He'd get down to the barn and play his harmonica. Uh, he could make that thing sing like nobody I've ever seen. I'm telling you. So one day I go down there to the barn to do some chores. And he stops me. He says, hey, he says, uh, <clears throat> Pirates are playing in about an hour. If you get done, you can come on up and listen to the game with me. I kind of just looked at him a little bit because I was kind of confused. And he says, no, he says, I know you listen to the games, you know, on the porch chair. He says, it's okay. He says, you want to come on over and sit with me? You go ahead. I said, okay. Went back to playing his harmonica. Game time was on, and I was finishing up my chores. Came up, washed up, you know, did the things I had to do. And then uh, I went out there and I sat with him on, on the glider and listened to the game. <laughs> cool memories with him now. You know, he was there when I learned how to shoot a gun. He was there when I did a lot of stupid stuff. Um, big ramp that goes up the barn. You would just take the hay bales off the wagon and lay them on this belt. The belt would take them up to the upper loft and two people would be up there stacking them. Yours truly thought he could run down the conveyor one time. Well, you know how that worked out. <laughs> I had over heels. He laughed. That was funny as hell. It wasn't real funny to me. It is now. It wasn't then. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Good old muskrat, good feller. So that just goes to show you folks that, you know, kind gestures can go a long way. Um, my pat, my grandma gave him a, gave him a better life. And um, 
for that we were, we were very proud, we were very happy. And uh, to see him have a good life was a good feeling for all of us. And uh, it really goes to show you that family is what you make it, folks. It's not by blood, it's what you make it. So uh, just want to you know, pass that on with this little story that I shared with you this evening. If uh, you are a first time watcher or a new subscriber, thank you. If you're an old subscriber, thank you. I can't believe you're still hanging in there with me, <laughs> but um, I appreciate it. If you're just flipping through and found this channel by accident, you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button and hang out with me. Love to have you sit here with me and chew on a pipe. So I would. Uh, little gall update. If you are a new subscriber, I have we have a giveaway going on right now, my wife and I. You have till the 30th to do your VR. Please get your VR in. Tag it to the goal video. I will answer it. If I answer it, then you know you're in, or if you're on the playlist. Um, I will be very vague with my thank you because we are doing a thing to where we each get to pick one of our favorite VRs, and they're getting an extra entry into the drawing. So that's it for the gall. You have till the 30th to do your VR. Today is the 27th. So now for the last part, the, the one of my favorite parts. Shout outs. Adam the Piper. Adam the Piper. Ashley Nearing. It's Ashley N-E-H. R I N G. Brand new to the YTPC. She only has a handful of subs. Guys, look her up. Gals, look her up. Watch her videos. Give her a sub. Give her some YTPC love. Welcome her to our family. I know you guys will. Hot Wings 326. John, you're doing great, bro. Really like your channel. Old R. Another good fellow that's brand new, pretty much. His subs are getting up there, but nowhere near where he deserves to be. So uh, let's give him some more subs as well. Here's a new fellow that I found. He's not new to the YTPC, but he's new to me. Sparks, S P A R K S, 5 6. Pennsylvania boy. Gotta give him a sub. Tennessee Bull, another veteran that we all love. Gotta love old Bull. Bull, thank you, brother. I appreciate all the love you've given me and the support. I really appreciate it. Beer, beard. Beer, as in what you drink. Beard. Great feller, been around. What a wonderful channel he has. You've got to check him out. This here feller, I just found, and he just subbed me back, thank you. Dirty Boots. Dirty Boots. Great little channel going on there. He has got a lot of potential. Um, please, guys, go over there and check his channel out. Give him a sub. And remember, guys, if you've already subbed to these guys, that's when you go back to their channel and you watch a video and just leave a nice comment. You know, a lot of times comments are just, they're more meaningful than the sub. So uh, make sure that we go back and we give these guys some good comments as well. And last but certainly not least for today, Olive Wood Piper. Carl, you have done yourself, brother. I love this ants. I haven't even smoked the other one yet. 
Um, I'm just enjoying this one way too much. My favorite shape, and you knocked it out of the park. Uh, we've decided to name it the Zombie Ants. Fantastic. I love it. Uh, it's a beautiful little pipe. Really deep bowl. And uh, chooch is like a dream. So that's it, guys. Thank you for all the love and the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, so until we can get together, pack a pipe. Or like that good cigar, let all that you do be done out of love. Y'all take care and God bless.